Welcome back, gentlemen. Mr. Shankar, infant mortality rate in India is very high. How bad is the situation in Karnataka? Better than India. How Better than national you? average. Because MMR, we are now 178 per 1 lakh live births. Earlier it was 230. Infant mortality rate is come down to 38 from 41. But India, national average, we are better than them. Far, far better than them. And far, far better than most of the states. Why do you feel we are better than them? Because most of the programs initiated long back in Karnataka. Most of the family welfare programs or this uh, maternal care, child care. So definitely it will be better. Mr. Sarukumar, it is a year since this tracking system was launched. It's almost a year now. Yeah. yeah. Has it helped? Has it helped reduce the mortality rate? See the mortality, as uh, Shankar has put it, infant mortality rate is uh, measured for thousand live births. If the if uh, child survives for one year, then uh, then it's a great achievement. If a child cannot see the first birthday, then we call it as infant mortality. Similarly, maternal mortality ratio, it is measured for 1000 lakh of, preg uh, sorry, 1 lakh, uh, 1 lakh of pregnancy. Uh, when we say so, uh, if we are not tracking these uh, women or the child, then certainly we are uh, missing uh, some, uh, some women or ch child in the process. This tracking alone cannot uh, ensure that it will uh, provide everything. There is a complementary requirement also uh, from the system. In, the, in our health system, we have tried and addressed uh, the maternal health and child health issues in a comprehensive manner. Lot of co complementing efforts have been uh, put in. For example, if a rural woman wants to uh, go for an antenatal checkup, she needs to be uh, having the access. So, access should be available within a reachable uh, distance and reachable time. That is the reason we have uh, put in all the available resources at the sub center and at the primary health center level. So, once accessibility is provided, then we can think of having a follow up. Uh, let us assume that women is uh, pregnant and she is availing the services for uh, all the services. Once she gets the labor pain, she is not in a position to go to the hospital, then she may have to deliver at home. If that is the case, then there is a chance of a risk for both mother and the child if they deliver in an uh, in a unsafe uh, situation. For that now we have introduced 108 ambulances. The moment uh, she gets the labor pain, she is uh, being pro assisted by this 108 ambulances. Within half an hour it reaches the spot and they are being, uh, she is being taken to the uh, nearest hospital. If she is uh, expected to have normal delivery, she is taken to the primary health center. If she is having high risk pregnancy, which is already highlighted in the Thai, thai card, that is mother card, then she is being taken to the higher level of institutions where uh, the specialists are available like pediatrician, gynecologist and anesthetist are available. So, we have ensured that the accessibility, availability and affordability, all these three issues are being taken care of. Along with that, we have this tracking, so which ensures that uh, the possibility of death is being minimized. I can't say it is totally uh, avoided, uh, it is minimized. minimized. There are uh, still uh, chances of risk, chances of uh, death, uh, which is uh, very, very now, um, um, very uh, less in number in the system. Mr. Shankar, how many expectant, expectant mothers and infants have registered so far in the state? Have you covered all the rural areas? As on date, um, 8.37 today morning's figure, pregnant woman, it will be approximately 8.37 lakh. lakhs. <coughs> approximately, it will be around some 70% of the target what we expect every year. 
every year it will be in the range of 11 and a half to 12 lakhs pregnant women will get uh, registered so it means that suppose if you take out some 30 to 40 percent of the urban population almost we are covering uh, a rural area rural pocket in urban area more or less they are concentrating on slum population to cover that one and children yeah 2.27 2.57 uh, lakh uh, children already registered on the web and it's a totally transparent anybody can open and see the website especially for end users and the public we have created one user id and password wherein anybody can access that is available on our website itself krhfw.gov.in that is the official website of our department on that if they open everything will be available do you have a separate number for the child also or the mother's number is enough for it will continue. The same toy card will hold good for the child also because soon after delivery, the immunization part will be taken care on the same toy card. So the same number will run. Imagine after two years, the mother, the woman gets pregnant again. Does she, can she use the same number? Uh, right now, we don't have made that provision. In fact, most of them are asking, why don't you give a permanent unique number? Yeah. If you want to give a permanent unique number, then we have to work out on the basis of eligible couple. Uh, we have a concept of elig eligible couple in health department where 15 years to 49 year married woman will be treated as eligible couple. If we have a very good database eligible couple, yes, this can be continued. Now we are working in this direction. Next year we are thinking of computerizing all the eligible couples which will be around some 85 to 90 lakhs eligible couples. That will be a mammoth task. Mr. Sarukumar, he said 15 to 45 year married. 49. 49. 49. 49. How can 15 year old get married? We don't allow that in uh, India. How did you allow that? Uh, that is the medical term what uh, they have uh, uh, given that 15 to 49 years eligible uh, married uh, woman. But don't you think should be changed? Yeah, that's right. Uh, no, but whether we like it or not, it's still happening in the country. Uh, um, the girls are getting married before 18 years of age also. So if if she gets a, a, a marriage, then certainly we need to track because we, we uh, she falls in our uh, system of eligible couple, we need to track her. Uh, I agree that the uh, Child Marriage uh, Prohibition Act should be enforced in uh, with full vigor to prevent this kind of uh, early marriages. Mr. Sarukumar, here I want to intervene. When you find a 15 year old pregnant, apart from helping her in whatever uh, the tracking system, do you also counsel her, counsel her parents, counsel her uh, husband or uh, boyfriend? See, once, uh, as I have already mentioned, once the Ashas come to know that they are married, then they start counseling them on uh, temporary family planning methods because it's a, a risk to have uh, early pregnancy. Yeah. So uh, once they uh, they listen, they, they start using the temporary family planning method methods, which is freely available in the system. If by ch any chance they get pregnant, then also they are be, uh, to be advised on taking the advice of the medical officer. So they are being counseled through our primary health center medical officers. They are being continuously monitored because they are susceptible for uh, having less any less iron content that is anemic uh, situation and also there may be some other complication in the uh, delivery so they they are being identified for um, risk related pregnancy and they are being uh, referred accordingly so the thai card contains all the details of their progress from the date of the uh, conception to the uh, date of uh, delivery so all those details will help us in um, concluding that whether she is having high risk pregnancy or uh, normal pregnancy. So if it is a normal, then uh, it is not a risk, it is a, a she can be delivered even in a sub center or in a uh, primary health center. But if it is a high risk pregnancy, they are being advised to go for a higher level of institutions where the specialists are available. So now with the, in, uh, with the introduction of uh, 108 ambulances, it is not a, a problem, they, are, they can easily reach the higher level of institutions. Uh, so, it is it's a question of um, how we uh, classify them and how we follow it up. Uh, perfect, uh, Mr. Salakumar, uh, if one board can answer this. Um, do not you think um, uh, your people, your nurses who 
work in rural areas should also advocate mar uh, marriage uh, advocate against marriages uh, 15 year old marriages yeah. see it's, uh, a, it's a, uh, getting married yeah. it's a, a social custom which is prevailing in the in the country and, uh, and uh, in this fine uh, that's right the, they uh, consistently the different departments are trying to advocate the um, prevention of child marriages but even then uh, at a village level where there is a illiterate family illiterate uh, girl is being forced to get married before the age of 18 so uh, yes uh, we have to try our best to prevent this kind of marriages once married it's our duty to uh, bring them down from the risk of having high uh, high risk pregnancy Your job is only to bring down the risk not only that, we need to prevent also, uh, prevent the marriage itself, but if it is not possible, if it has not happened, uh, already uh, she is married and if she is uh, getting pregnant, then we need to uh, give her the service properly, so that she, she escapes from the uh, high risk vulnerable group of uh, death. That's right. Mr. Shankar, Mr. Rukumar said that uh, you also look into complications, if woman goes to complications. Now, it is more and more women are going to IVF, who adopt IVF, intro, uh, in vitro fertilization. Do you also help such women? Once For the time being, no. Why? Because in the MCTS program, it's a Government of in India initiative and the parameters what Government of India put the same thing we started with in the last year. That's only a year back. This year, we added some more parameters to monitor other programs on the same platform of MCTS. For example, high risk pregnancy. There are so many parameters for defining that pregnancy as a high-risk pregnancy. And some of the family welfare programs we can monitor on the MCTS. So as day passes, I think most probably this also we will incorporate. Because after all, once you become, a woman becomes pregnant, whether the normal process or IVF, she is a pregnant woman. Yeah. And I think the department must help yeah, them Yeah, definitely. Also.